wow there is an oak today is the first real day I come out of my flat and thank god it was nine ten long days I was very looking forward to come out to nature again I feel great I am proud to say that I healed myself with uh, oranges, lemons, ginger, turmeric and a lot of fresh food kale, fennel, tomatoes, beans, plant-based food, that's it of course the first two or three days were rough I went through hallucinations, high fever a lot of coughing, sneezing, running nose a headache, a crazy ring around my head for five, six days everything is gone now I didn't take any medication apart from uh, probiotics and vitamin C. The only thing I can still feel is how drained I am. This thing tires you a lot, it's crazy. The other thing I experience is uh, how grateful I am for my body right now. We give a lot of things for granted, including our health. And uh, right now that I can breathe properly, I can play digital properly, I don't wake up at 4 a.m. because of fever. I'm really appreciative of my body and I still, I'm still surprised on uh, the fact that some people give it for granted so much by eating terrible stuff and smoking and taking heavy drugs every day you just have one vessel that will carry you from the moment you're born to the moment you die and the moment you die is determined by the thing you eat the thing you introduce to your body you drink well the environment where you place yourself in I'm very blessed to be in Perth the air is very fresh the water is still eh. If you drink the water from the sink here, you will know what I mean. It's full of magpies around me right now. I started playing the didgeridoo before and there was an oak on a tree poking and getting scared because of the sound and then it flew away. I missed a lot more than usual traveling. So in the next week, I'm gonna take my car either south or north. Last winter, I went to Bluff Knoll and I saw snow for the first time in years probably. So I'm gonna go again very soon for a trek on top of the mountain, which is not really a mountain. It's 1,100 meters, but the closest thing to a mountain around here. One week ago, they reached out to me for the visa. So they probably started looking at my visa, which also means that maybe soon I will be able to go back to Italy after five years I've been missing, so I'm amazing. I'm looking forward for some good news. I had this dream for a long time of uh, traveling around Italy and uh, create a documentary of every single region with all the things that every region offers with our, well, an infinite amount of things between food and landscapes and mountains, rivers, seas, and traditions, costumes, dialects, women a lot of things so i might be looking into that soon i'm getting distracted because there are magpies staring my direction so soon i'm gonna start playing the didgeridoo again i'm uh, finally getting close to finish the sci-fi book i'm writing and i'm really planning to turn it into a graphic novel for at least one or two chapters to get some momentum i've been exploring a lot into web3 and cryptos recently because there are a lot of things happening now there is a bear market happening a lot of people are getting desperate over a crazy amount of money they lost but there is always a lesson in these guys and uh, i'm sure that it's going to be the future so i'm considering developing new skills this year in that direction a bit of learning trading and learning a little bit of basic coding and uh, I'm starting my own business. I'm uh, creating video advertisement for companies. And in the next weeks, I have a lot of videos lined up to film for other people. So there has been a lot happening. But my number one dream has been always to be able to tell visual stories through the camera. So that's why I'm still here talking in front of a camera. Casey Neistat started making videos when he was 34 and voila, I'm 34. So now I'm considering all the time I've lost into things that didn't really matter and very soon I'm gonna start filming a video every single day. And this year I have planned to go to Exmouth because I've been promising myself to go there every single winter for many winters and I never had the opportunity because I was always stuck in a job I didn't like because of my sponsor and now I'm free. I don't have much money but I'm free so I just have to figure out uh, how to get there and back with my own money and uh, there are plenty of opportunities to film there between the whale sharks, turtles, hatching and uh, well, the landscape itself and next year in 2023 the government is organizing 
spending 21 millions for infrastructures because there's gonna be uh, moon eclipses I think so ideally it would be amazing to be there next year and make a video a proper documentary video on that very night so I'll try my best to be exactly there next year with a thriving business so I don't have to focus too much on working for somebody else which I'm trying to give up this year. This was just a follow-up to say I'm healthy again. There is some beautiful landscape over there. It's an abandoned power station and that's it. I'm gonna enjoy a little bit of didgeridoo. I want to make uh, something about food and nutrition soon because uh, well, the thing I, I know for sure is that uh, doctors don't explain how to treat your body in a way that allows you to thrive and there is a lot of misconception and misunderstanding on food so I'm sure a lot of people can make a good use of a, a PDF or a little course on how nutrition works on a basic level and what your body thrives on. There is a, a friend that is a nutritionist they gave me this fantastic book that they sell at universities. It's around $150, but it's massive. And there are other resources like the China Study or How Not to Die, but it's big, big books. And ideally, I want to create something very small, 50 pages, 20, 30 pages, that you can have with you all the time, that uh, compiles briefly all the nutrients your body needs, divided in foods, and in macronutrients so it's accessible to everybody and whenever you plan your day for the week you know exactly what to do yeah and then eventually start uh, releasing more and more products i want to start from the breathing so breath work to nutrition to other skills you can develop to create a body that is like a swiss knife and uh, this year i really want to hammer down on skills the skills that help you thriving as a human being I think that's it for today I just wanted to touch base and let you know that I'm still making videos I miss it a lot actually it's good to be back to this and uh, I'll see you in the next videos I'm not sure but it's gonna be somewhere in nature probably I'm thinking Bluff Knoll or Margaret River or just somewhere exploring. I'll show you a little bit of the, the thing behind me. I have the drone with me. Enjoy the view. I'll see you in the next video.